All right, all right. Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. I'm going to try a new, I'm trying this new stand, you know, to see. Because my, <clears throat> I hurt my shoulders a while back. And, um, you know, holding that phone. God, it's so annoying. It just, it just keeps me out of balance. And that's what I want to actually talk about is balance. Um, you know, and um, and I'll arrange this a little better. Some other time, you know, just stand a little better sometimes where, you know, it's angling pro properly and all that bullshit. But anyway, um, balance. This is, you know, because, you know, I could tell now that that picture behind me is probably not aligned properly. So I'll, I'll work on that shit later. I mean, you know, I don't have time right now. So, um, what do I, so balance, balance. So, you know, so I, I increasingly talk about uh, the, the way we have to process our, uh, how we uh, represent ourselves or uh, our modalities, how we express ourselves. That's it. How we express ourselves. And I talk about how important it is to know, you know, know who you are, you know, and, um, you know, know who you are. In that, in that process of when you are attempting to know, know who you are, what you are, and why you are. Those things are just uh, like, you know, you, you really, you really, you know, you're not process, you're not um, developing properly if you don't know those things. Like who you are, what you are, and why you are. So, um, and I got to figure out, <laughs> my, my eyes are all over the place. And, uh, but, you know, you can see me, I hope. And, and, and no, I'm looking at you and I'm talking to you. So anyway, so how you process yourself is really, really important. Okay. And those are factors that, um, you know, determine how you are to develop properly. You know, how do you express yourself? And then who you are, what you are, and why you are. And I told you I have a, um, a dominant sense of vision. In other words, I process stuff by, by vision and um, it helps me to understand really what's going on around in my environment when I do that. And then some people are great with hearing and some people are into their feelings, you know, their, you know, their feelings and their emotions. And uh, there are, is, there's also a factor of sensing and receiving, which is the most, uh, not the most, but is, is one of the most uh, difficult thing to attain, but it's, the mo the, it's the most uh, crucial thing to have and understand is how you sense and receive because that's where your power is. You got power in all of it because people will continue. If people know, when I tell people about my visionary, you know, they make a big deal out of that as is, if that means something important. It don't mean a goddamn thing. It means that I process better when you visually walk the talk. Okay, I you need to walk the talk. Okay, and then, of course, with hearing, you know, and then, you know, people in emotions, you know, um, all of that can be manipulated. All of that. People are constantly, I mean, people constantly abuse all people in every, which, every way to get stuff out of people. Always, they, people are always wanting, 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 instead of developing and developing, developing stuff in themselves. They always think that, they always want something from people they think that has the answers and has all this knowledge. You know, we, we, we drain people. We drain people of all the willingness for people to help them because there's always factors in, involved where they're trying to manipulate and, get, and, and, and take from that person instead of hmm, listening to that person and seeing the, see how they can develop that kind of stuff in themselves because you can. You came with instructions already attached, as I keep saying. But everybody wants to complicate things and always make things of a nefarious means, you know, you know, something that's given to you in, in helpfulness that's already balanced. Usually, you know, it has the positive and negative with it. You know, it has the good and bad with it, it has the dark and light with it. It all has to stay together, but no, we want to always split stuff apart and use it for nefarious purposes. You know, most of the time it's de destroy, destroy, conquer, destroy. Conquer, destroy, or wash and rinse, wash and rinse, and um, 
you know, the person that said that word to that combination to me, I mean, you know, nothing but love for you, but, and I'm not picking on you. So anyway, it's just some, some words people say to me, kind of get me inspired and get me going. So, um, we all come with instructions attached and instructions on how to be a more genuine human being. Okay. We, 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 it's, we come with that. And so anytime we come on, you know, anytime we reincarnate and we reincarnate, no matter what anybody says, you know, uh, if, if people don't think we're reincarnating, that's on them. <laughs> you know, at some point far in the future, <clears throat> in the distant, distant, distant future, those of you who, you know, you, you figured it out eventually after you keep re, you know, becoming and passing, becoming and passing, becoming and passing, deja vu, deja vu, deja vu. You're going to be like, wait a second, wait a second. You know, you're going to figure it out at some point. Now, whether, uh, you know, in most cases, this is going to be where you're going to feel abandoned, literally. You know, you're going to be abandoned. Nobody, you know, nobody's coming to save you regardless. I know a lot of people are, are, are hoping for that. Nobody's going to come and save you. Okay. They may come and assist and help you to save yourself. And that's what, that's what a lot of people have done from, from all galaxies of the of the universe. Now, ain't that a great movie plot? God damn. So, <clears throat> cause and effect, cause and effect. But anyway, so as you're developing and you know how you express yourself, you can work on the vision, the visionary part of yourself, your, how you feel, your emotions, and you're managing your emotion and feelings. Um, and all that in combination, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's always a combination of how to, how to get all this stuff in alignment now. Now, even though I say I, my vision is a dominant part of me, well, guess what's, what's the most, uh, what's the most dominant in me is my sensing and receiving. Sensing and receiving are those type of energies where people think miracles are happening. You know, that this person... You know, this person knows this and she's, she's forecasting this and she, he's forecasting that, that that's not the case at all. There, there's no such thing, by the way, as miracles. There are no miracles. That's part of sensing and receiving. That's that, 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 that's that, uh, creational type of energy that you are as a human being as well required to, to, to attain knowledge about and developing yourself. Okay, there's no such thing as miracles. So if you see people doing things and saying things, and, and that means that this person is doing what they're supposed to do to raise the vibrational level of themselves to become a more, uh, 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 a fully absolute developing human being. How about that? You know, whatever, however you want to, you know, bring those combinations of words together. Okay, do you understand me? Do you see me? Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We came with instructions attached to me. Like I said, we should be trekking. We should be start. We should be on other planets by now. We should be part of the star, you know, be part of Star Trek on our own spaceships together, you know, going to dinner here. Yeah, I mean, you know, just fast, just imagine the possibilities if we had been doing what we were given instructions to do. And throughout this, Throughout the, the course of space and time, friendly messengers, these people have been friendly messengers, have just come through and say, hey, you know, an attempt to help us, you know, to reinvent the wheel, you know, to get off the spin cycle, you know, get off this uh, constant spinning and repeat, wash and repeat, wash and rinse, wash and rinse, wa you know we are to be developing not not uh, uh just relying on you know uh uh see again like our forefathers and foremothers you know they were providing us with theories and in, in, in some type of thought process of you know theories that they're thinking about during their time and how they're developing and and what they're talking about cuz keep in mind women and people of color were all in that, they were all in groups together. They were all discussing themselves in, in this realm of discussion all together. 
even though women have been eliminated from topic and books, all we talk about is white males. I mean, I mean, you know, we're going to, you know, those who, who have this illusion of who has, uh, has, has knowledge will, you know, you know, they're going to see the light, <laughs> you know, if that's whatever, they're going to see the light or the darkness, or they're going to see the light, you know, the, see, because we like to split things up, you know, they're going to see the light and darkness, but how that affects them, that's going to be on them. Okay. So the fact that women are being eliminated from books and now they're trying to eliminate black culture, you know, and, and, and talking about queer theories and, and being and being so discriminatory and judgment against people of alternative lifestyle. And it's because of their own individual sexual frustration. You know, women don't want to be with them. Women find them grotesque because they got the scaling skin, the balding. I mean, look at how some of you are aging. Look in the mirror. Look at the man in the mirror. Okay, so everybody's always onto this look anyway, but okay, look in the mirror and tell me what you see. Some of you nefarious characters, you know, that always look at how to, how to destroy people, how to harm people, how to control them, how to conquer them. You know, and you know who you are. You're all over the world and you're in one particular area of the world too. always interfering instead of leaving natural processes of things to, to develop. As I said, earth knows what the fuck to do. Earth does not need humans to tell them to tell her or the energy of earth does not need <clears throat> humans to tell them to, to know what to do. Animals don't animals don't animals more importantly, do not need human beings interfering in their development. And again, that's, that is going to turn on humans at some point. And they're going to do everything, you know, and animals are going to do everything in their power to eliminate and cause you to be extinct because that's what we've done to them. The same thing with plants. Plants are going to start poisoning humans and you're not going to even know the difference between good, a good plant and a bad plant, you know, since we like to talk that way. Always splitting stuff up. So soon now the food we eat is poisoning us. We poisoned it. It's going to poison us. Cause and effect. You know, the sun that brings warmth and comfort is going to, you know, start tearing up skin of people. And they're going to have sores all over their damn skin. Skin cancer and all this kind of stuff. And I know certain I know certain people, you know, it's always like I say, a small group of people have worked on formulas throughout the course of space and time to alter with people's uh, biology, to alter with people's bi uh, reproduction. And yes, a lot of people do you know you know die of cancer, or die of heart disease, or die of this or die of that. And a lot of it is because of interference from these so-called scientists and doctors. There is always an experiment. Their, their, their whole purpose is experimenting on human beings, attempting to influence them, attempting to control them, you know, attempting to take certain sales from them, you know, you know, because, it, because humans to them are, are objects you know, because, you know, unfortunately, when they were in uh, in school, medical school, they were, what were they working on? Dead people. Cadavers. And that's how they see us. I don't care what they say. They see they see other human beings as cadavers. They don't see us as human. And, and, and they don't see the humanity in a lot of us. Because a lot of them, like I said, are sexually frustrated. And, you know, and they're, they're going to take it out on society. Or, you know, or envious or jealous. Of Adonis, usually, you know these people that are getting a whole lot of attention and, and this and that and the other because of this and that and the other, and a lot of it is just delusion and paranoia. You know, want to you know, and it, and they're doing everything in their power to keep these uh these assumptions going about who's intelligent or not, which doesn't mean a motherfucking thing about your intelligence. 
and they're going to figure that out as well. Or your IQ. No matter how much you mix in, in formulas and back rooms in, in order to create, you know, these so-called uh, artificial inseminations of people. And, you know, who wishes to have babies and this and that and the other. You know, too much, too much of that interference is definitely coming back to haunt. You know, cause and effect. So I'm going to start there on that kind of conversation right now. And then uh, I'll come back and talk about other things. But but I want to close, close this out by saying. Um, when you are developing yourself. And you get to the sensing and receiving part of your of your your your, your being. That's where everybody want calls the miracle stage, or the miracle development, and they want to see it, make it more than it is. That's that's part of being a human being, by the way. And 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 on this planet, because we haven't been raising our vibrational understanding, you know, we are still too low in vibration to where this planet. Has is is has run out of time to develop in a certain way in that, and the human beings, I should say. You know, you still got to be, you still have to get out of kindergarten at some point, and move up, and move up. That's part of your, you know, developing. You can just can't just stay on the on the spin cycle, or the wash and rinse cycle. Because if we had paid attention. In the beginning, millions and millions of years ago, you know, we'd, we would have known that we're supposed to develop, not stay stagnant and status quo and all this bullshit. And you always using, using things that is supposed to help us as entertainment or something to use as to make weapons with and destroy people. So that's the goal. I mean, you know, like, like you're doing your video games. What are you doing? You're destroying your enemy, right? In most cases. You're fighting all the time in those video games that I've seen. I don't watch, I don't know how to play them, thankfully. You know, just just think of the title of some of these vehicle, uh, 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 video games. Think of the movies. What is the movie? Always conquering and, and, and fighting and, and trying to be, uh, trying to conquer the enemy. And the enemy is in our thoughts. That's where the enemy is. Okay? That's all for now. Peace. Peace and love, and I'll be back.